Um, more serious stuff here. This is um, video that has been released of an Illinois deputy and a shooting of a woman by the name of Sonia Massey. Now, what can you tell us about this? Yeah, I think that on both sides of the Atlantic, there's been a lot of focus about the appropriate use of police force and a lot of conversation. And this is some footage that emerged um, of a woman called Sonia Massey. She called the police um, because she thought there was an intruder in her home and they attended in the middle of the night. And then the footage of that call emerged. I think I'll let you watch it because I know we've got that footage and then we will talk about it. Hey. Oh, you huh? Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? Uh, away from your hot steaming uh, water. Away from my hot steaming water? Yeah. Oh, I would rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Uh, I would rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You better f*** out. That's where you're going. I'll shoot your face. Okay, I'm sorry. Drop the f***. 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 19 shots fired. Shots fired. Shots fired. Shots fired. So that was the footage of A the... very distressing video to watch. It was, she was an unarmed black woman. Um, they'd asked her to look for her ID and she had a boiling pot of water in the kitchen and the um, uh, uh, sh sheriff's deputy, Sean Grayson, said to her, you know, we don't need a fire here as well. Go and turn off the, the water that's boiling. She walked in to the kitchen and actually, as you see, it just changes like that. They're very jovial. And the next thing, he's pulled his gun and she's cowering with her hands up and he shoots her and kills her. Now, he's on a murder charge, unsurprisingly. But you just think all of these times, you know, that you would hope you could turn to the police when you've got an issue. And it really does highlight the issue here in in the united states the appropriate use of force <laughs> and dealing with situations and you know what in the old days before they had cameras on them you would have they would have come back and said she came at me with the water she did this she did that, and there would have been nothing to uh di dispute that how did it escalate so quickly so presumably they they thought that this bowl of water would be used against them um but then I think it was him rather than them. I mean, I, I know that you see both of them pull their guns, but I think the second one pulls it because of the the, the first one but, and, and he doesn't take a shot. And in fact, it, that video then goes on. The second cop that was there wants to administer first aid and the and the first guy says, no, it was a headshot, there's no point. But you'd, you'd also wonder, well, why... You, uh, yeah, it, do, it does seem like an absolutely outrageous thing to do because she was the one that called them. So why would she have called them if if that was the well, case? Many questions, I'm sure, to be of. answered. It yeah. is not unheard of for people to call the police and and it to be some sort of trap or... Well, you know, but the assessment of that situation, I think even to the most layman person watching, is that that was, you know, there was a counter between them. Um, she clearly was unarmed. It clearly was, you know, not, not a situation where um, fatal force needed to be used. Um, and it and it is more questions, really, w when it comes to the police about their, their treatment and... Uh, She's a an unarmed woman of colour in her own house who called the police for help. It's it's unbelievable that we've got these two stories where there was a clear shooter in sight when it comes to Trump and nothing was done. And then this story of what happened to this lady in her house where it was just, a, it seems on the surface, and again, we need to wait till uh, perhaps more of the facts come out, but as you're absolutely pointing out, it seems on the surface that they, that it, it's 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 an excessive and ridiculous use of, of, of is, force. Is and there it just goes anything to show. that stands out to you, Christo, about the difference between those two individuals? Well, I mean, what you're 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 alluding to is 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 her skin colour, obviously, and I think that that would probably be a factor. You're absolutely right, but I, I don't know that for sure. All I'm alluding to is that I mean that's what you're saying, right? I'm saying that that is an obvious difference. Where if you're comparing those two, yeah, yeah, and that's a, that's just so it's a scary 
factor if you are somebody of color and you need help from the police, isn't it? Yeah. That your life, that it, that potentially you, that you would end up in a situation where. Well, especially if you're the one that's called for help, especially if you're the one that's called for help. There have been many shootings in the states where where the perpetrator might have been unarmed, and 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 you can kind of get your head around those. But this was the person who actually called for the help, so it just seems ridiculous and excessive. You're absolutely right.